Hi guys, welcome to Creations by Karen, and today I'm going to show you one of my number one sellers, but I've revamped it. Um, so let's get going. So this is my last year's number one, one of my number one sellers. Um, there was about three of them, and then I'll show you these as we go along. Um, and this is my number one seller. It was a hot cocoa pack, and I sold, basically I sold out of them last year. Um, so I found one of these, and I just stuffed it. So that's what it looks like, and that was last year's hot cocoa pack but I've come up with something different it's a new design it took me a while but I made it and this is what it's gonna look like when we're done there you go oh, I know this is backwards sorry hot cocoa pack a new one that we got for this year I'm gonna show you all the directions and how to make it and if you make these I can guarantee that you'll sell out that's just my thought process I don't know we'll see how it goes um, so first you're gonna need some red cardstock and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this and I'm gonna cut this at got my thing here four and a half inches wide four and a half inches wide from this up four and a half inches And I use a um, little bit heavier than regular cardstock. I think it's a uh, 110 pound. That's just my choice. You can use cardstock if you like. So four and a half inches. I'm going to cut this at four and a half inches and I'm going to cut it at nine and three quarters. So nine and three quarters, almost ten. There you go. That is done. I keep these scraps so I keep them for something else which I'll show you but you gotta like and subscribe or else you're not gonna you're gonna miss them all right uh, now I gotta do some scoring on this so I've got my scoreboard and I know um, a lot of people have the same one I just prefer to use this one um, and another reason is um, I couldn't get the little blades to cut paper on this I live in Canada and uh, that's sometimes hard to do. So I'm just going to score this and I'm going to score it at half an inch on one side, the long side, the nine and a half inches, four, or sorry, one and a half inches. This one's one and a half inches. And then I'm going to score it at, I'm going to open this up. Six inches and six and a half inches. So six inches is here and six and a half inches. And you can make a lot of these. I know, like, I, I always sell out of them. Doesn't matter how many I make, I sell out. So that's what you got so far. Oh, you know what? I got to score one more thing. I'm going to score at. Hmm, three inches and three and a half three inches and whoops sorry I didn't I didn't want to do the whole thing just a little bit on either side just to the score line that you had before and I gotta turn this one around three inches and three and a half there we go. So I know this is really hard for you to see, but once again, here are your score lines. So you've got a half, a half an inch on either side going lengthwise, and then you're going to score it um, at three inches. Um, and then three and a half inches. Not right. I think just three inches. Yeah, just three inches. You're going to make a score and then um, this way, and then again at six inches and six and a half inches. Got that? All right. Now you're gonna need some scissors for the rest of it. So, and you're gonna see where that, 
that other stuff where it's up. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do it first at three inches. Let me just think of it. I'm going to turn this. Sorry. Yeah. So you're going to go here. That's three inches. And I'm just going to cut it below the score line. And then I'm going to cut it at six and six and a half. And I'm just going to make a V. You know what I mean by that. Make a V. I really like the way this turned out. It took me a while to figure it out, but I'm sharing it. So that's what I like to do. So just cut it here and make a V, a little V. There we go. So your V's here. And then where I've made these cuts at the uh, three inch mark, I'm just going to cut this down right here and on this side. And these don't have to be perfect. Well, as close to perfect, but when they're giving it to somebody, uh, they'll probably just get rid of it anyway. So, <clears throat> I, I mean, try to do as best you can. So, we're going to turn this like this and this one. Go to this side. And you don't need your scoring tool for this. Just turn it over. Make sure it fits right. But before you do anything more to this, you want to cut an accessory piece. So, you're going to cut this. I got two pieces here. You're just going to cut some cardstock, just regular cardstock at three inches by three inches, and another piece at three by five, three inches wide by five, because we're going to put this on here to make it look cute. Okay? So we're going to put it on. So I use um, glue to do this, and I like the designer art glitter glue. You can use uh, hot glue if you want. You can use a tape runner. You can do whatever you want. This is just purely inspirational. <laughs> so I'm just going to put just a little bit of glue on here. Once again, you're not going to be selling these for a lot of money and they're going to be taking it and, um, you know, tearing it apart. So <clears throat> you don't want to put a lot of money into it. So then I just place this. And make sure I got this right. So this is going to be the up part. Yep. So I'm going to place this here. And I just like to make sure it's nice and centered on here. And make sure it's directionally correct before you do anything else. <clears throat> so that's perfect. My trees are going the right way. These are Christmas trees. So just put this down and this doesn't take a lot of time a lot of time to dry uh, so I need something where's my here it is found it so this is going to look like this eventually all right so then I want to put that other one on the back so I want to make sure if you're using directionally correct paper you do it directionally correct. So, let's take this piece. It's going to be directionally correct. And I just put a bead of glue. Or you can use tape. Or you can use whatever you like. Glue works fast for me, so that's why I'm using it. Just take this. And you want to place it so it lines up. Looks good. 
Okay, just take it and with your bone folder, I use this. I got it at the Dollar Tree. So that's what the back looks like. See, they're going in different directions because I'm folding this one up. Got that part? Okay, not the fun. Okay, so I'm going to put some hot glue on this little tab that I cut. And you don't need a lot of glue. And just put a dab and then just take this and you're just going to fold it up. And the reason I cut it is to make sure that it's not oversized for the inside and cause a lot of bulk. So that's why I did cut it. And this is really good glue. Got mine at Michael's. And then I'm doing the other side. Once again, just a dab of glue on here. A little bit goes a long way with glue. And just hold it in place. I'm sure this will be a big hit this year. Okay, and then I know this is a little bit longer. And that's okay. That's what I wanted. So I'm just going to put some more glue on this side and then fold this part down. And then I take this. So I make, I make sure that the glue sticks really well and then do this side. this down take this just rub it so it sticks and if you want to you can go inside and do it as well I just rub my fingers along it because this doesn't fit really well it does but this would be another good way to do it go like this okay so this is what you're left with just a little pouch that you're going to put your hot chocolate in all right, now I like to put a strip of um, double-sided tape just here. And that just keeps everything in check. And if you want to round your order, your edges, go ahead and round them, round them. I'm not going to. I'm just going to cut this off. And then just peel the upper level of this off my double-sided tape and I'm going to take my hot chocolate and I'm using Swiss Miss I got mine at Walmart uh, don't try them in London <clears throat> and then in the south end they don't have any Swiss Miss chocolate I bought them. all right and then just fit this down and you just want to about, go about a quarter of an inch from the top and your tape is on there this is not going anywhere right so my Swiss Miss is in there and then, uh, can't have hot chocolate without marshmallows. And all I did was uh, took a little bag and uh, filled it with 10 marshmallows. And then I'm going to take my double-sided tape again. Just put a piece of double-sided tape on it. And I just had, um, make sure this is going to the bottom, yeah. I just made sure, I, I have a lot of these, uh, two, I think they're two by eights, and I just cut them down. Peel that off, and stick that, so it looks like it's just here. Marshmallows. And then, you're going to take a candy cane. Once again, I like things to not move around, so I just put a little piece of glue or um, double-sided tape on here just make sure it's directionally correct when you go to put it on they got all their christmas candy and stuff out now i saw not everywhere but where i went so i'm just gonna slide this down like so day all right now I got this little tag at <clears throat> I think I 
got it on Timu, I think. I think I got 50 of them. Hot, just a little hot cocoa treat for someone ever extra special treat. And my booth is all going to be candy cane. So red and white and black. This year, that's just what I thought. And I'm just going to place this down just like this. And if you get a bit of glue on it, don't worry about it. Just going to stick in place. This sometimes takes a minute. Don't worry about it. You got time. And you can do these in like sections. You can make all the boxes and you can make, you can, you can do it all. So that's what it looks like. How cute is that? I wonder why this wanted to come apart. Just put some more glue on it. I didn't hold it long enough, apparently. Okay. I'll just hold this for a second longer. And another one I've done is hot cocoa, or not, this is hot cocoa. I've done tea ones, a new design for a tea one. So make sure you check back in. Um, then I'll show you that too. So I'll take this and I'm going to put it in a little bag. Now, I got these bags from clearbags.com, and they're um, seven, four and seven sixteenths by six and a quarter clear bag. And I like to put the top of it in the bottom of the clear bag. So we just take this, feed it through. This fits perfect into a 4x6 bag. Nice and snug. That's what I wanted. I didn't want any overhang. And I just fold this down. And that's it. That's it, guys. How cute is that? And that's my own design. Took me a while, but you can do this. Go ahead and try. If you like what you saw today, make sure you like and subscribe so you know every time I put a video on, the next one I think is going to be the tea one. So uh, we'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye now.